Hey, Kate Sith. Did you hear anything about what went down at the Nebo reactor? Not much, I'm afraid. Just that an unknown force had breached the perimeter. Shinra troops were dispatched in response, and a battle ensued. Now I get it. That was their plan all along. Hey, eh? come again? They wanted to be found. They lost on purpose. That's the only explanation. How else would ninjas lose to grunts? They just threw their lives away. Who would do something like that? I mean, would you? <laughs> sure, I would. In a heartbeat. So, we Kayans really aren't afraid to die. Of course we are. It's scary. And it sucks. But I'd still do it. That's how much I hate Shinra. <sighs> hey, Vicky. You said you thought your people had lost the battle on purpose. But you didn't <laughs> mention why. <laughs> Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage, a living legend. Surely you've heard of the man. <laughs> Did someone say a living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? 
Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry. As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo, neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. over the sound of his own stupid voice. Who exactly? My old man. <laughs> Excuse you, it's not funny. Ooh, ooh. 
any chocobos? That chocobo over there! It's just gotta be the sieges! That's Selena. Bird sounded kind of...
Good bird. Impressive work by Cloud today. But what wasn't easy, he finally brought the feisty Selena to heal. Lucky for him, because more attempts would have been humiliating. Sagekins, shall we? Are, Selena? Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skill?
skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion, and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the Gold Cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not, it'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please, do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Thirty tufts ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> oh, you get your hands on that choco grass. <coughs> Hurry, I don't have long to live. <laughs> 